In late 2022, my wife and son joined me for three days at the incredible Red River Gorge in East Central Kentucky. The scenic Red River winds its way through the gorge to cut out over 150 sandstone arches. There's also a surplus of majestic waterfalls, wooded hiking trails, and rocky cliffs to create a climber's paradise. We had a great time exploring this underappreciated area and hope you'll join us for all three of our episodes right here at America's Parks. In the first episode, we'll take you to one of the most popular swimming holes in the gorge called Jump Rock. Also at that location is the famous Suspension Bridge. From there, we'll visit the popular Gray's Arch, a four mile hike. And finally, we'll close with a look at our incredible sleeping accommodations and a treasured dessert stop. This is weird that this is part of the road. Yeah, I think you need to just go through the cave. Okay, all right, I'm nervous. <laughs> good. We're right here. Well, first of all, welcome to Daniel Boone National Forest, Red River Gorge area. We just did the underground mine cave tour on kayaks. You gotta check out that video. But we're right here. We just parked our car. We're gonna walk up the trail swimming hole right here and then we're going to go up to the suspension bridge that crosses over the red river so short trail today about a half mile or so in and out here we go so we're going to first start with the suspension bridge uh it's a little higher than i thought it was this should be interesting and it just came into sight right now the shell to we connector trail number 211 follows the red river to a junction with the Sheltowee Trace National Recreation Trail and this suspension bridge across the river. Well, I like the bridge because it feels like you're kind of bouncing way up high. It's it's cool because it's not attached like to the ground, it's just attached by the cables. All suspension. Bigger cables than I expected. But it's pretty firm. They just get nervous when you get in these bridges and they say one person at a time. So <laughs> that sign wasn't there for this one, which means it can carry some weight. We have just made it to the swimming hole right now. It's just our family. It looks like three young men are here as well, but look at that. It looks like they're ready to jump off that rock. Whew, this is beautiful. Check that out. Nice job, way to go. How's the water? Uh, nice once you get down the There's a little bit of a current though. You're good. Hey, excuse me, guys. Yeah. Do you know people jump off that rock? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, all right, let's see what you got, man. <laughs> nice. nice. Woo. How deep do you think the water is there? Huh? How deep do you think it is there? Told me like 30 feet oh wow okay well, I don't know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> nice jump nice jump rain's coming down we got to make this quick here we go Woo! yeah wow I can't stand already you can stand there I can't touch bottom here ah this feels good look at that Got some lightning happening. We're gonna head out of here, but it is it is pouring now. So they were saying a lot of rain today. Thankfully, we got the bridge in and we got a little bit of swimming in. So it wasn't a total washout. Um, we have two more great stops planned for us today. It's only about 2.30 right now, but um, without a signal, I can't tell what the weather forecast is. And uh, this thing is not letting up, but we found a nice shelter. That'll keep us somewhat dry and safe. And then we'll make our way back to our car. You guys all nice car. and dry? <laughs> Pretty dry, not bad. Took me a little longer to get back barefoot. Yeah, barefoot's not nice. All right, I'm coming in. We are 
in the spectacular Red River Gorge, and this was one of the recommended arches. A lot of arches out here. This is called Gray's Arch. Uh, it's about a mile and a half, two miles in, Gray's Arch Trail. Then we're going to take a right at the fork and go up the rough trail to our destination. Uh, this arch is 80 feet by 50 feet, so pretty large span. Should be a good one. Mm, dangerous cliffs. You got to be careful. And look at that. That's sad. Mm. There's a guy that died here at Gray's Arch, Jim Graff. Died here on March 21st, 1986. Cherished life, the most fragile of God's gifts. Boy, that's true. Gotta watch out for the cliffs. Yeah. If you've been following me on the channel, you'll probably notice as of late, I've been spending more time in the national forests. I like the national forests, definitely fewer people and fewer restrictions. But you gotta be careful in national forests because they're so remote. The trails are not as defined. And based upon the research I did in this area, a lot of the trails are unmarked. Many of them are not even on an app where you can download the specific location. They're unmarked trails. And a lot of stories about people getting lost out here. And obviously because of the lack of people, fewer opportunities to be found. So uh, this one is a very popular trail. We should have no problem hiking out the Gray's Arch. Rather, rather large path right now. And... Uh, Pretty well trafficked. All right, here's the fork in the road, the rough trail. We're hanging a right. Okay, guys, so the trails, for the most part, has been relatively flat, but now we're taking some descent and going into the valley, and would you check out all those stairs? Wow. Down doesn't look too bad. Coming up is the problem. <laughs> All right, let's go. Shane, you want to lead the way? All right. The older you get, the more you dislike this elevation change because, you know, whatever goes down <laughs> must also come up. This is, is going to be rough coming out. <laughs> I promise you guys it's going to be worth it, though. When you get to the top, we gotta do a little rock scrambling here, don't we? Oh yeah. Really no defined path. You gotta make your way up just the way. whatever steps are created in nature for you. It looks like you just kind of reached a dead end. This side might be easier. As we finish up this hike, I want to give a shout out to my friend Nick in the Ukraine. Um, the guy had bigger things to be concerned about if you're following the news lately, but he designs National Park shirts and he watches the channel. He sent me this one. He even asked which park I prefer to have on the shirt. I said the Grand Canyon. Uh, if you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put it in the description down below. Thanks, Nick. Every once in a while, you just got to call a Dairy Queen road trip. Yeah. Best 15 minutes I ever drove in my life. All right, Shane, lead the way. He said we have access to the freezer, right? Oh. How about we buy a box of those? Yeah. Or better yet, a box of the Buster Bars. Yeah. We'll bring them back to our That's a good idea. sleeping accommodations. Yeah. And of course, we'll share some with our hospitable hosts. Very cherry chip today. Then I'm thinking tomorrow night we go with the Girl Scout Thin Mints. And then it'll be a toss up the day after for the Oreo Dirt Pie and the Caramel Fudge Cheesecake. I could go for that, not interested in cotton candy, but this is the all-star lineup right here. Greatest dessert ever invented. Shane, what do you have there? Uh, all your dirt pie. Let me see it. Take a bite for me, the viewers. Gummy worms on the top. Take a bite for the viewers. Mm. Nice. Flip it open. This is 
amazing. And then we just kind of push it off to the side. There. Okay. Yep. All right, super. What do you think? Yes. Huh? You like this That's, place, don't you? This is nice. <laughs> better than the former option, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys will like this place a little better than Loda. All right, go for it. Is it too hot? Have a seat, man. So, a little change of plans. And I think we could say for the better, right, Julie? I think so. We pulled into our campground. We had it reserved for three nights. It's raining and it wasn't the cleanest of conditions. So I say we upgraded. Yeah. Is that yeah. fair to say? We upgraded quite a bit. <laughs> and actually we got a pretty good deal in this place, but we're all by ourselves in this kind of mountain lodge right now in the Whirlpool, we'll show you the Whirlpool, sauna, and then our own private room, which is really pretty incredible. But no one is here except for, except for us and the owner. So um, you're liking this, aren't you? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, this was a blessing. This was a blessing. Usually you can have the little water bucket and you can make it as steamy as you want. So this little one right here, okay. if you turn it to it, that's gonna give you an hour of sauna time. The accommodations at the Bedrock Red River Gorge were fantastic. The hosts were hospitable. The price was reasonable. The amenities were sufficient and the environment was very relaxing. We highly recommend this location in Rogers, Kentucky. And if you go, please tell Jeremy and Mary that America's Park sent you. A link is listed in the description below. So we got some subscribers to America's Parks. They've recognized us on the trail and they have something very important to say to you. Subscribe to America's Parks. All right, way to go. Thanks guys. Have a safe hike back. <laughs>